Hello everyone, welcome to Speedway Motors Tech Talk. I'm Joe, this is Darian, and today is an exciting day because the new engine for your Comet is right here in this box. Yeah. Do you want to tell us what it is? Yep, so this is a uh, small block Ford 302 motor from Blueprint Engines. Um, it's kind of their base dress motor. Uh, it's putting out about 230 horsepower, about 320 foot-pounds of torque. Um, super basic, uh, not a huge camshaft or anything, nothing too powerful, but for as light as my car is, I really don't need a whole lot. Right. We want to make sure and pull out, this is all your warranty information, all the dyno information and everything that Blueprint provides is right. in the envelope. That's amazing. This has the water pump and the carb and the distributor and everything. This even has plug wires on it. Yeah. Is that what you were expecting? Yeah, from the pictures on our website, we show pretty much as it comes. Actually, surprisingly, on our listing, we stated that it came with plain valve covers, but they must have thrown in the chrome ones. So that's always a bonus, it's right? a lucky day. Exactly. And this has the warranty information. Do you know what carb this is? Uh, this is a 600 CFM Holly, um, just like a 4160 series. It's definitely more than enough to supply this engine for sure. So this is ready to go. The distributor's installed and tightened down. You know, the blueprint is careful to spell out what they want you to do for a break-in. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I mean, they, they walk through a quick break-in procedure. Um, I guess all the blueprint motors that come with an oil pan on them have been dynoed already before they ever leave their factory. So does that mean that you don't have to break in the cam? With these units, since they are dyno, they break in the cam before they ever ship them out, so you don't have to worry about it, but they don't discourage customers going through their own cam break-in procedure. Mm -hmm. It's definitely not going to hurt anything by any means. And they want you to run break-in oil in it anyway, just to be, just to be sure. Yep, yeah, so any good break-in oil would work for this application. Blueprint obviously makes their own that works really well, um, but ComCams and other manufacturers do as well. Anything like that will work. Um, this is actually the dyno sheet Ooh, for this motor. Once again, it's not any big powerhouse by any means, but I'm looking here and it looks like it made peak torque at about 3,500 RPM. We're looking at 327 foot-pounds of torque and around 4,300 it made peak horsepower at 238, which once again will be way more than enough for this engine. And your car weighs like, what, 2,800 pounds Yeah, 20, 2,900 is what it's billed at for curb weight with a V8 installed. So what year coming? 62. It's gonna be cool. Yeah. I'm pretty excited to get it in and, and get it going. You know, honestly, I didn't expect this to be this together. I expected the water pump to be in a box off to the side and the carburetor and the distributor. This is kind of amazing. Yeah, I mean, it really does come a lot more together than what I was even expecting. And you put it perfectly. Carburetor already comes mounted to it and everything's set up there. Looks like they already have the distributor locked in and, and checked already. Water pumps on, fuel pumps on. You know, I'm kind of like you. I kind of figured they ought to, everything would be in different boxes and we'd have to kind of assemble it here. Uh, even comes with spark plug wire separators to try to organize the spark plugs. <laughs> there you go. There's no water neck on it, no thermostat, but otherwise this thing is pretty darn close to ready to run. Yeah. You're gonna send us burnout videos when you get it in the car, right? Oh, for sure. All right. Well, thanks for sharing. This is kind of a special day for you. Thanks for sharing with us. And thanks to everybody for watching.